That was great. Keep it going for Derek coming to the stage now. Come on. Thank you. So I used to tell my mom everything when I was growing up. Just everything. I don't know why she was just this really cool mom, and it was hard not to. And uh, in the seventh grade, I ended up telling my mom that a friend of mine had shown me his dad's porn. And uh, that wasn't really a big deal, but I had come home and tore my parents' room apart uh, to try to find my dad's porn. Because um, uh, that was a brand new idea for me, and I, I didn't find anything. And when I told this to my mom, she, she laughed in my face. And she said, well, you didn't look everywhere. <laughs> She said, you missed that big suitcase in the closet. And uh, told you, cool mom. Uh, cool mom then took me into her bedroom and showed me said suitcase. And it was a big suitcase. And it was filled with Playboys from the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. My dad was a collector slash addict, I don't know. Um, and uh, from that moment on, my parents' closet became mine. Uh, it was like my own personal porn library. And it was open Monday through Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. Or until I heard the garage door open. And uh, my dad, he was the opposite of cool mom. He was like detective dad. And he was always on the case. And he always got his man and I was always the man. And um, he would know if one magazine was out of order, and he would kill me. I knew this. And so I would actually go in when the library was open, and uh, I'd have a pad of paper, and I'd make notes so that I could put them back. I was crazy. Uh, the whole time listening for the garage door, it was insane, but worth it. Um, a couple of months of this go by, and uh, I stroll into my library, and uh, there, there is a lock on the suitcase. He fucking knows! I run into my bedroom, knowing full well I'm already dead, running is pointless, and uh, I, I wait by the window for my dad to come home, and that night, uh, my dad says nothing. <laughs> nothing. The next day, nothing. The next day, nothing. And I think, wait, was it a coincidence? Does he know, or did he just think, hey, maybe it's better to be safe than sorry, put a fucking lock on that big porn trove. Or, you know. So I go in, after a couple of weeks, I, I get the courage to investigate, and uh, sure enough, there's a lock on the suitcase, but it's an old suitcase, so it has this rip on the side, which is just big enough for me to, to pull out one magazine at, at a time if I'm careful, and I was always careful. And uh, the porn library was open for business again. And uh, this went on another few months, and uh, I, I come home from school one day, and that suitcase is sitting at the bottom of my driveway next to my trash can. And I think, oh my God, it's all mine! And I go to pick it up, and it's empty. <laughs> and I run into my parents' closet, and there is a new suitcase <laughs> with a lock, no rip. And I think, okay, he definitely knows this time. It's not a coincidence. I'm definitely dead. And that night, nothing. The next day, nothing. What is going on? Like, is he just messing with me? Does he or does he not? No. I go back, and uh, with some trial and error, I find out that I can pick the lock <laughs> with the tweezers from my Mr. Science kit. Go science. Um, and uh, again, months go by, and, and uh, I come home, and uh, the suitcase is gone. It's just gone. Not in the garage, not in the attic. Uh, and again, I think definitely not a coincidence, definitely dead. Guess what? Nothing. Nothing happens. Until two years ago. I, uh, I bring it up over some margaritas. <laughs> I'm 31 now, what is he gonna do, you know? Uh, 
And I say, Dad, do you remember like that silent porn cold war that we had? Like, and we like never talked about it. And he was like, yeah, of course I remember. And I said, uh, what did you do with all of that porn? And he said, I threw it away. He threw all of it away, 60s, 70s, 80s. Like, that's older than me, that suitcase. Uh, and uh, and I, I just couldn't believe it. And he said, listen, I didn't want you to get into it anymore. I, I don't think that stuff is good. Uh, but I also realized that keeping it was a hypocrite. I was being a hypocrite. And, uh, and I realized over a couple of margaritas uh, that my dad was a cool dad. <laughs> That's really cool uh, to be able to do that because I don't think I could, honestly. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, it's my, ah. <laughs> I would get like a guard dog, you know? Um, also, I realized my dad's fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, and uh, anyways, that's the end. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>